go. There's a picture of one right there. Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. I know I haven't been around uh, most of the summer. I really wanted to do a lot more videos this summer, but it was so hot and I got very busy and I was trying to brave the heat and still work and uh, the COVID thing, there was a lot of stuff going on. So what I'm gonna do is do, a, I'm gonna clean up the shop in here and clean up outside from the mess that I had from what I have been doing. And we're gonna start making videos again. So, uh, since it's Halloween, I promised you guys would make a haunted tree, so... Heads up, you know, there's going to be a video on that this week, okay? So, if you're watching this, definitely stay tuned this week, and we're going to go through the process of carving a haunted tree. Uh, and we're making haunted pumpkins and stuff like that already. I already got a couple of made. So, I figured what it would be kind of fun to do is give you guys a little idea of just some characters that we can do I'll do a couple on paper and we'll go through how to draw a little one-eyed pumpkin you know Cyclops pumpkin I just seen uh, Ryan Cook do one I carved these a lot myself I like to give them one eye and he reminded me of some of the things I used to carve way back when when I was watching his channel the other day and uh, he made a nice little haunted pumpkin it was kind of neat with one eye and I have a character that I do it's pretty much uh, the same idea. He's got one big cyclops eye. And they're easy to carve. They're fun. We're going to go through it. I'll make a couple drawings show how you can give them different expressions. They sell like crazy during Halloween. And you can bang a couple of them out a day if you, you know, have got nothing better to do. <laughs> and, you know, put them online or whatever you want to do. Or just put them around the house for the holiday. Right? So, stay tuned. In this video, we're going to draw one. And then tomorrow's video we'll go through the whole process of making one all right but uh we'll come up with a couple of ideas and uh i'll show you on paper and you can make your own okay so with that said let's get started okay so get yourself a pad of paper we're gonna sit here and we're gonna make ourselves a character and what i'm thinking of doing a lot this winter is to come to the paper first, we'll make a quick sketch. That way we have some reference. And you guys will be able to go from there. And you have your picture that you can carve later on. Right? And I'll show you pictures of the pumpkins that I've already done in this character. And uh, tomorrow, like I said, look for the video to come up where we actually carve this guy. Okay? So, basically we're just going to start with one eye. Alright, so I'm going to go to the center of paper here. I'm just going to make a line like that. That's going to be the top of his eyelid. All right, he's pretty simple to draw. Uh, my daughter named this guy Carl. I don't know why, but I'm kind of stuck. So, <laughs> this is going to be Carl. Right underneath that, we're going to make a pupil. Okay. Draw a little triangle inside and we color that in. Right. Now this is going to be Carl the One-Eyed Pumpkin. Okay. Now right underneath that, we're just going to come down, put a half of U, and that's going to be his eye. Now I like to actually give him a little more character, so I'm going to draw another line and another line. Now you can change the expression on Carl by changing his position of his pupil. All right. 
you can make it look into the side you can make it looking up you can make it looking down you can put it in the center all right so that's basically that all right that's his eye on the top i'm going to draw two bumps one and two okay and then it's just going to come down and he kind of just has kind of a pepper type shape all right and that's going to be his body all right there's not much to carl here all right we're going to give him a stem i'm going to come up draw a little circle then come back down all right now we can make all this darker we can add shading and stuff to make our drawing look a little more interesting all right you do whatever you want i like to darken my lines in after i have the basic shape This is just to show you that if you want to make simple characters, especially ones that sell during the holidays, the simpler you keep them, you can come up with a lot of your own designs to carve, okay? Like Carl here. Like I said, Carl will sell over and over. You make your own, give him a different name, uh, give him some veins in his eyes here. Okay, and just a simple line here, however you want to shape his mouth, you can make him your own, right? I'm just going to give him one big, goofy smile, just like that, all right? And I like to put character lines around him, especially once I start carving him, one on each side of his eye like this, okay? And maybe shade in his eye a little at the top this is just for my drawing purposes so he he looks okay and I'll, I'll tend to start darkening my lines in okay now what makes Carl really unique is his teeth all right he's got one there now you can stick these wherever you want you can give him a lot or you can just give him a couple. I tend to think less is more in a lot of these. And then maybe I'll widen his mouth a little bit in spots. To give him the kind of look I'm going for. And then I'll just darken those in. Just like that. It's not going to take much to make Carl look pretty neat, right? Sometimes at the top, this kind of expression right here, I'm just going to give him a couple of wrinkles on the top of his head. And maybe some lip lines here. Right, now remember, he is a pumpkin, so he's going to have some lines coming down like this, right? And once you put his collars and everything on, he'll look pretty neat, right? So there's not much to making a neat little pumpkin face. All right, you can change this any way you want. I've actually made Carl with feet, which makes him look very cool. But for this uh, video and the ones we carve, we're just going to do plain old Carl, all right? So that right there is going to be our design. And darken his teeth up and I'll show you different ways you can make him look different and different expressions and underneath all my drawings of Carl I always have like a little bit of a shadow just for effect in the drawing and then I color that in black hoping the camera is getting this because it's on my head so you get an overview so I'm hoping he's in focus and in view. I really got to clean up the shop. I have a lot of storage in here. It's really a mess. And I want to make videos all winter. 
this carving does slow down. Summer was busy towards the middle and things started opening up, but there was really not that many shows to go to. But uh, I did tend to get a lot of small orders. Did a lot of owls this year. Might have to do another owl tutorial and really break it down because uh, they really are good sellers, guys. So we might cover some of those in a little more detail, too. All right, so that's going to be Carl. You see, he's pretty easy to draw. All right. Let me show you an example, or a few examples, of how you can change this little drawing. Say this is going to be one carving. And you're going to take them out and say you want to sell them and you put them, you know, in your repertoire of carvings, you know. Uh, and you're at a show or whatever your uh, venue is to sell, right? Somebody's going to come up, they're going to buy them right away, and then there's going to be two or three other people there that are going to want one, and you're not going to have another one if you haven't carved a bunch of them. What I like to do is make two or three of the same. Somebody might like this design, but then let me show you. I go through my little pages here see how you can change him up now this is a different design for him this is another expression okay he's kind of angry and mean there all right this one's got paint on it sorry it's a little bit dirty but uh you can see all the different ways you can just change his expression and you end up with a whole bunch of different pumpkins all right So it doesn't take much to just change just a few features, especially the mouth. You can change the mouth and the wrinkles on his forehead and you'll have him looking a little meaner or sadder. He looks kind of depressed here. Right here he just looks annoyed. Right here he's just regular old Carl. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why we stick with the name Carl, but my daughter calls him that and I started calling him that. But uh, she even knows how to draw him, you know. One eye, like I said, kind of a pear shape, and then just detail them up. Now, we're going to carve one tomorrow. We're going to paint it and everything, and I'll show you how they come out. So, I'm going to put the design down, now that you know how to draw Carl. And let's go outside, and I will show you two examples of what he looks like when he's carved and he's painted. Okay? Okay, so here we are, and this is a couple of examples of how he kind of looks. Now, these aren't done. There's a little owl here next to him. Don't worry about him. But uh, this is kind of what you can do. You see how they're two different pumpkins, but they're the same character, really, but you can paint him different. Now, I'm in the middle of painting these right now, but I wanted to have them for this video so you guys can see the two different ways, the, the, the many different ways you can actually... Have fun with this little character. All right. And he's for Halloween. And we're going to paint him up. And I'll give you some painting tips and stuff. Uh, when these are finished. They're probably going to look even a little more different. They'll probably look a lot better actually. Because I just have one coat of everything on right now. Okay. So this right here is Carl. And in tomorrow's video. Make sure you stay tuned. And check back in. Because we're going to carve Carl. Okay. And I think I'll do this all winter. Uh. I'll have one video where we actually draw a character, show you what we're going to do, and then the next day we'll actually do the project. And I'll put them back to back if I can. You know, So stay tuned for a lot more footage. We're going to start doing a lot more videos. And sorry I was, wasn't around most of the summer. And we are also going to be doing a haunted tree. Okay, and I promise you guys I would show you how to make those. Uh, Here's another neat little <laughs> Halloween thing. This right here is just kind of like a zombie hand. And he's holding a skull. And somebody asked for one of those. So, but what a mess I have out here. Boy, I gotta clean up. I've been banging stuff out. There's a couple little bears and an eagle head over here. 
and there's other lots of pumpkins my buddy's up and Dan and he's been carving pumpkins these are just regular pumpkins all right we have those all over they're everywhere I myself prefer Carl and we have owls going lots of owls going on they sell during Halloween too a big bear head in the back okay so stay tuned and we'll show you guys how to carve a haunted pumpkin watch the video look for it tomorrow I will see you then take care now Ooh.